Hello everyone. It's been a very productive Christmas vacation because I've been working my shop quite a bit. You might have seen this 1963 LI in my other videos that I wasn't really bothered with and never was able to get it running. But I finally did. It used to be a super convertible, but I um, none of the electric start stuff worked. There was a governor bracket, but no governor. So I took all that stuff off. It runs really good now. It actually, I got took a little bit to get it running. I was on the phone with a five tractor guy all yesterday and today. He was helping me out with it. And it was sucking up fuel and everything. It was sparking, but I couldn't quite figure out why. But I figured it out eventually. When I took off the magneto to clean the points and whatnot and make it have spark, um, I put the timing on backwards 180. So uh, it was firing at ex the exhaust stroke. So I um, fixed that and it fired right up just like it had ran five minutes before that. Uh, it, the tag says it's a 1963. It does have a 6.6 .6 horsepower engine, but in 1963, they didn't have the advanced casting. They had the flare in like that. It was just a nub there. So I think the transmission might be later. And also, I don't know if you can see it here, but um, there's a bolt there through the axle flange where gear reduction wheels would mount. And that identifies it as an LI, yeah, but um, they didn't stop. I mean, they didn't start doing that until they came out with the 7.6 horse and stopped putting the tag up here. Because this tag says it's an LI. But on the, um, but it also has the bolt there identifying that it's an LI. But no, no tractor had both. It was either or, and they started doing the bolt in 1966 or 67, I think. But yeah, um, I forgot to put the tripod on my camera, but I'll fire it up for you. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. probably get one right here. There we go. It still has the electric starter clutch on it, but no, I'll find a pulley for it eventually. As you can see, she runs real nice, no smoke or anything, and it idles real nice, everything's pretty good, the carb is clean, gas tank is clean, it's a pretty solid tractor. Let's see if I can drive it around one-handed. Yeah, so the uh, little kill switch on the end of the handlebar still works too. Um, in other news, the Commercial 12 has the MA210 snowblower back on it. I wasn't plowing the driveway with that, but since I got this thing running, I thought I'd put the plow on it. I also put dual wheels on it with chains. But this thing's much more suited to snowblowing, you know, it has more power. And um, just a little bit more easier to start. I'll probably be using this one more than that, depending on how much snow we get. If we get a lot more, I'll be using this. If we get, we don't get much, I'll be using the uh, LI. Let's head in the shop here, and I'll just update on what's been going on. Um, I've been clearing a lot of stuff. i got a lot more open space. It still is horrendously unorganized. But I've been painting some parts up there for the L8. See transmission, you know, just putting extra coats. Um, heater's working great. Uh, let's see what temperature it is in here. It is um, about 61 degrees, so it's nice and warm in here. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys the LI and got it running and whatnot and update you on what I was doing. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.